Hi everybody! Welcome to Creative Mini Art Painting. Today we're going to do something completely different. We're going to make something out of this material. Polystyrene. This time we're making terrain from polystyrene. We're going to make rock terrain, rocky hills, rocky foothills, mountains, or whatever. And how should we do that? Let's take a look! Okay, so this is the material I was talking about, polystyrene. You can get this from packaging material or the like. First off, I take a sharp knife and cut the edges of it. Keep in mind, always be very, very careful when using sharp knives. And never let any children do this at all. There are also other ways to do this with a uh, hot metal wire, for instance. But I find the result with a knife is just as good. First off I take the one side off and then the other side. The upper side and the lower side. I'm trying to give it a stony look with some very irregular shapes. Here and there I do something a little different, cutting out corners. Always keep in mind you are working with a sharp knife, so watch out. It was the very large block finished cutting and after that I'm going to place two smaller blocks on top of it. So this is me cutting the smaller blocks. And after the two small blocks are ready, I'm going to glue them on top of the large one. But first off I'm chipping away some material on top of one of the small blocks. This gives us the look of more rough terrain. Some super glue on the bottom of the small blocks. And this is how it's going to look like. However, it's unpainted. So, first we will begin with black. We base coat everything black, acrylic paint. And then I realized I also want some holes in it, so I take some pliers and take out, take out some holes to give it more rough terrain 
feel to it. After it's applied in black, I want to cut out some carton to glue it on the bottom. That way it will be much sturdier. So here I'm cutting it out with a sharp knife. Again, be careful doing this. Always cut away from you. And when this is ready, I'm going to glue this on this rocky formation. And then I'm going to base coat this in black. Don't forget to base coat the edges as well. After that is dried up, I take some brownie colors with red and some green in it, and I'm just randomly, randomly applying this to the rock. And this will be mostly on the flat surfaces. Then I take a large dry brush and apply some lighter color to the edges. Mostly light gray and some white in it. Brushing gives it a really, really natural look. For the very high edges, I use white and dry brush it very lightly on top of it. So, this is about finished. This is the finished result of a rocky train piece. And here is one I made earlier, just to compare it to another one. Yeah, I also put some grass on top of it with PVI glue. Here you can see the two terrain pieces with some models on it to give it a more complete look. If you like to see more, please place a comment and please subscribe because I'm planning for more videos. Hope to see you later. And now for something completely different. It's the frog. <laughs>